okay in the last video we have uh, installed the laravel breeze and uh, today in this video i'm going to now integrate the google login stuff how we can log in our user from the from their google account so let's get started okay uh, so this one is our dashboard i'm going to add a button here to uh, integrate uh, to move to the uh, integrating the google calendar so let's go here close this env file and i'm going to now go to this resources views and here there is a auth stuff right if we have multiple roles we can create the different directories here right and in this case i'm shooting this only for the one user so that's why i'm going to create this inside this auth okay so i'm going to name this uh, uh, first i'm going to uh, in the dashboard uh, I have already a dashboard stuff which is here right but I mostly like this here it should be inside the auth right because it's a authentication dashboard so now let's go back here controller stuff profile controller you know it's a different one so where is our dashboard or home controller let me find this so let's go here no edit authenticated session registered user controller no okay password controller the profile controller it's update and uh, let me set this find the route here it's a web.pp file so the dashboard is here we are just opening the view we don't have any controller right so now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to basically add a button here in this view. So let's move to this view. Uh, in this way, I can switch into this one, but I'm able to switch this into one. I'm going to type this dashboard. And here, uh, let's add button here. Uh, href uh, connect to Google, Google account, right? And then I'm going to add here the URL of my uh, application, but it will be let, let me add this later. First, I'm design this so BTN BTN uh, info and BTN SM, so it will create a small button. So let's get refresh. And yes, we are reducted on the login page because my session is expired. Okay, dashboard dot uh, dashboard not found. Hmm, that's weird stuff. I'm logged in. Ah, yeah, because I have changed this so to auth dot dashboard. Okay, let's get refresh. And yes, connect Google account. So let me make this uh, visual button. So I think it's using the Tailwind CSS. But I'm not sure what it's using. So uh, okay, this one is a button connect Google account. So this one behaving like button, but uh, its a bootstrap is not blank, which so means that it's not the bootstrap stuff. So let me add the style. Mm, some you first add the background to color, so it should be uh, blue, and then color should be white right and then padding should be around uh, uh, 5px uh, on the top on the right from the bottom and from the left side here like this let's get refresh okay connect google account it looks and let me increase this padding size so this would be the 15 should be also 15 and this would be the 10 so let's get refresh and yes, it looks so uh, little bit nice. We can also add other properties like uh, a border, uh, border radius. All right, so let me add this out here. Border radius. Okay, border radius. And then I'm going to add this 50 first, uh, not 50, maybe uh, 10 or 20 px. So let's get refresh. And yes, a uh, little bit lower like this one so i'm also going to pick a very nice color from this html color code website 
okay let's copy this one go back here paste this one yeah i need to add this hash before this one so let's get refresh and yes it looks nice okay so whenever someone click on this uh, connect google account so we will uh, redirect this on the route okay on which route we need to redirect this so uh, let's go here and then you need to implement this so stuff from here from the laravel socialite documentation so let's click on this documentation follow the laravel socialite basically we are going to add the google login stuff right so let's click on this laravel socialite yeah so we have already installed this we have also configured this into our uh, service.php so let's click on this config uh, service.php file and this one is about to uh, configuration edit the google client id secret and redirect uri i have added them in the env file too okay and then if you don't know how i did this so you can check out my previous video and then you need to copy this stuff you can copy this from the google but we will replace this here right so let's copy this and paste this thing here and just add the namespace at the top socialite and this one is a namespace right and if in your case it's not added automatically so you can watch my series where i'm uh, teaching you that how you can automate your vs code i have installed multiple extension to um, make my make my uh, this vs code more intelligent okay and uh, guys here you need to change the github to google account right so first it will ask slash redirect so we can say that it's a not auth google slash redirect and then we can say that google slash login uh, google slash login and redirect this on this so uh, after this it will hit this and then uh, redirect to to this google page right uh, which is account start something like this where we will log in this one and then after the successful login it will hit this callback right and we need to add this same callback in our url so let's go here in the services.php file so here uh, we have this in the env file so let's go to the env file and let's make double make sure it so here we added this localhost 8000 google slash redirect right and uh, here i'm using this so uh, uh, Lara gone so let's close this one and I'm going to open this uh, with the PHP artisan serve Okay, it's a calendar app this one I'm going to open the CMD and I'm going to run this PHP artisan serve Because it wouldn't allow you to open uh, add the multiple dom uh, Multiple world domain into the Google uh, Console account right so that's why I'm going to go ahead with this one local host to 8000 and then here i'm going to type this google slash login right after hitting this so uh, where it will redirect me on the google page and where i will log in and then it will redirect me on on this uh, url right so i'm going to add this uh, into my controller stuff so let's go here and implement the controller so php artisan make controller and here i'm going to name this uh, uh, social controller right i'm not going to name this google controller because uh, in the letter on not in this um, series but uh, in your case maybe you uh, name this google calendar but uh, later on you want to add the github login or facebook login so it should be a, a social a social controller which will handle all of the social account like google account facebook account and github account so here it should be in the auth slash uh, social controller social login controller you can also say that social controller okay uh, it's created now and uh, here i'm going to now uh, make this little bit different like let me remove this closure from here cut this out from here and then i'm going to go with the uh, what's the name of this social controller namespace is added at the top and i'm going to uh, uh, open uh, redirect uh, on this uh, google uh, redirect on google okay and then this will be the uh, google slash login 
we will dot login okay and then similar let's copy this i'm going to add this google slash callback here this should be also a callback and uh, mm, uh, open google account details something like this right okay and uh, in the switch controller i'm going to add this stuff here in this method right so let me get this method first i'm going to name this so uh, public public function okay public function and then let's name this redirect this on the google Oops. redirect this on the google and here i'm going to run everything like let's cut this out from here paste it out here like this add the namespace also here at the top socialite socialite okay namespace is added and then you need to create one more method so let me copy this and paste this everything okay it's pasted now so let's uh, uh, cut this out from here also rename this uh, ah, we added this here uh, here right so we don't need to add this out anymore so you have this one let's go here and uh, replace this okay so whenever we logged in so it will redirect this on this uh, open google uh, account details right so we will get the user details here right so let's uh, delete this out and now i'm going to hit this url and then it will redirect this on the google and after the authentication stuff it will redirect this on this method right uh, where we are die dumping our user so now let's uh, go ahead and click on this google slash login and uh, by the way let's go back here and type this local host 8000 and here i'm going to open this out from here let me log in my user here so contact at cdlcell.com here i'm going to add the url in this one right so let's go here add the url here for out google login right so it will automatically redirect this on the google login page so let's click on this out and yes it's red redirected this on the google uh, page where we can log in our login sign in with the google right but make sure uh, this thing that if your url is uh, if your uh, uh, redirect url is wrong so it will um, throw a message here that um, uh, this will not able to open these account it will uh, show here that you, your redirect URI is not matched right so here is our developer console so let's click on this and then you can explore it let me uh, give you an example that uh, for example uh, in my case uh, in my env file i have entered it correctly but here i'm going to made a typo mistake just wanted to show you that uh, for example you are facing this issue that uh, it's not working in your case so this is a issue right let's click on this google account and yes it says access block this uh, app request is invalid right so here it's uh, uh, telling us a message if you are a developer so click on this error detail so it's telling us that uh, if you are app developer register this uri in the google console cloud why it's asking this register this because this one is not matched with the google console app right uh, if i uh, open the google console app so i have entered the same url so that's why it's so uh, required here uh, not this one let me open the yeah it's a console.developers.google.com okay and uh, let's click on this credentials and from here you can pull those details from here google client and this one is a redirect uri so this should be matched to with your redirect uri with this one right so this is a key thing so let me make this correct now let's so uh, uh, go back here i'm going to go back refresh the page and now let's click on this so it correct so it will write me on the google signing page that's great okay now i'm going to log in from this uh, user so let's click on this 
okay so it's redirecting this on google slash redirect but uh, here we added this callback right so let me rename this same redirect sorry guys i have added this same in my config file now if i go in the services uh, let me go to the env file i have added this redirect also added this in the same in the google console but i did here differently right so that's why that's why it's unable to find to count here so i'm going to going back let's get refresh and i'm going to click on this connect google account okay let's click on this so rccr and yes now it's returning us the our google login user detail my name is um turning the name that name it's email and then it's avatar so we can see it's avatar if i go here and type this url here so it's opening this avatar it means that it's correct and uh, we can also store this uh, token it's a uh, access token and we can also store this refresh token but by default it's null and we can enable this uh, refresh token right okay and for uh, for other here you can see more detail that its email is verified linked, and so on things but here we need the one more thing which is google account id so this one is the id so we'll get this id and save this into our database and we'll later on we will search this that this uh, user exists or not okay and now let's click on this here we are going to save this user detail into our we can save this into our database too right how you can save this so this would be also a challenging stuff so I will show you in the next video that how you can save the user detail into the database and if it exists, uh, if it doesn't exist, it will uh, register the user, otherwise it will log in the user. So how you can do this, I will uh, uh, tell you in the next video. So stay tuned and if you like the video, subscribe this channel and uh, uh, share it with your friends. So I will meet you in the next one. Bye bye.